so today i'm gonna tell you about uh, how we can implement the localization and fluent validation so how you can uh, customize your uh, messages based on the different languages so uh, i'm going to explain this in the asp.net 6.0 web api and uh, i'm using visual studio 2022 in, the, in my last video I, I already created a project for uh, this fluent validation and uh, demonstrate the way uh, how we can uh, implement the uh, fluent validation in ASP.NET code so I'm not uh, going to explain it again the package uh, we need uh, for fluent validation is fluent validation dot ASP.NET code so uh, before uh, jump to the code uh, let me show you how the what is the output of this what will be the outcome uh, when we implement the localization in our fluent validation so look uh, here is our swagger and uh, i've created a endpoint uh, with the post method and uh, here i have uh, taken four fields first name last name email and age so first name is empty let's empty all of this currently i have uh, implemented the localization in first name only so when we execute this so here you can see we have uh, modify our custom uh, validation message to our native language or uh, any any language which you prefer so this will be the output when we implement this localization in fluent validation so let's jump to the code so uh, let me give you a quick uh, uh, intro about what we did earlier in my last video so i have created an endpoint with the student model here is my student model first name last name email and age and in the student controller i uh, validate i am validating this student model by using the student validator class which is inherited by the abstract validator so inside this i have uh, defined some rules for first name email and age not for the last name we can do the same for last name as well let's copy it out in my last video i have not defined the this validator message it could be anything by default it is english so it is not like this earlier it is it is like only like this only so we have modified uh, we have implemented the localization and modified our code to use the native language whatever uh, which you prefer to display the validation message so let's do this for last time and uh, not we are checking the not empty validator and the message we are defining is our validation message whatever the language manager we have we will pass the key and the culture info what will be the language means language your culture is your language like hindi for hindi it is the the key name is hi for english it is en for french friends it is fr so let's do it for hindi i am doing it for not empty validator let's uncomment this line and try to run this again try to do the hot reload Let's empty it out because we have sele well selected the not empty validator. 
let's execute and see our message is updated for first name and last name so so by writing this logic only you can update your validation message to any of your native language if you want to display it in fr you can see the last name is updated to French valid validation the message is updated to French language so so with this logic we can uh, modify our uh, error messages so whatever the country we have we can update the localization based on the country native language so you can also do this with the help of uh, language manager you can create your own custom mana uh, language manager and uh, for example I, I have created message language manager I'm not going to implement this but uh, I will show you how you can do this the language manager is a main class which uh, I inherited to the R custom message language manager I override uh, one method of language manager class which is get string and here we are passing get string method the benefit of this message language class is that you can uh, uh, modify the message based on your database by getting the data from your database as well so once you created uh, your custom language manager class then you need to inject to, uh, this in your fluent validation in uh, dependency, uh, dependency so here you have to do like this well x dot validator option dot language manager which is your custom language manager message language manager when you do this then this method will call when you when your validator option dot get string method run so here you can define your custom logic display the message accordingly so that's it you can see the output so don't forget to like and subscribe thank you